Hey guys, how's it going? In this video, we're going to go over five worked examples to show you how to do problems involving acceleration and deceleration. Now, if you haven't already done so, check out my previous video covering the theory on this topic, and that way you can apply what you learned in that video to this one. So let's get started. Question one says a car accelerates from rest to a speed of 24 meters per second in a time of eight seconds. Calculate its acceleration. Well, writing down what we know from the question, we're trying to find the acceleration A. We know the initial speed u is 0 meters per second because the car starts from rest. The final velocity v is 24 meters per second and the time t is 8 seconds. So writing down our equation for acceleration, we have a equals v minus u over t. Substituting in the numbers gives us 24 minus 0 divided by 8 and 24 divided by 8 is the same as 3 meters per second squared. Question 2 says an object moving at 10 meters per second accelerates to a speed of 35 meters per second in a time of 12 seconds. Calculate the acceleration. Well, again, writing down what we know from the question, we're trying to find acceleration A. The initial velocity u is 10 meters per second this time because that's the first velocity mentioned. We then have final velocity v is 35 meters per second and the time is 12 seconds. So writing down our equation, we have A equals V minus U over T. Substituting in the numbers gives us 35 minus 10 divided by 12. And putting that into your calculator should give you an answer of 2.1 meters per second squared. Question 3 then says a bus slows down from 20 meters per second to 5 meters per second in 10 seconds. Find the acceleration. Well, notice how the bus is slowing down this time, so we should expect a negative value for acceleration, i.e. showing us a deceleration. So writing down what we know from the question, we're trying to find A, initial velocity u is 20 meters per second, and then final velocity v is 5 meters per second, and the time is 10 seconds. So writing down our equation, we have A equals v minus u over t, Substituting in the numbers gives 5 minus 20 divided by 10, and you'll notice that 5 minus 20 will give us this negative value. So we end up with minus 15 divided by 10, which is the same as minus 1.5 meters per second squared, i.e. the object's speed is decreasing by 1.5 meters per second every second. So note the negative sign indicates a deceleration. Question 4 says a racing car travelling at 8 meters per second starts to accelerate at 5 meters per second squared. What is its final speed after 12 seconds? So this time we're given the acceleration and we're asked to find the final speed. So writing down what we know from the question, we're trying to find the final speed v. We know the acceleration a is 5 meters per second squared. We know the initial speed u is 8 meters per second and the time t is 12 seconds. So writing down our equation, we have a equals v minus u over t. And I'm just going to sub the numbers straight in here. I'm not going to rearrange because I'd rather rearrange numbers. So we've got 5 is equal to v minus 8 divided by 12. And then to get v minus 8 on one side on its own, I'm going to multiply both sides by 12 to get rid of this on the denominator. So multiplying both sides by 12, we get v minus 8 is equal to 5 times 12, which is 60. So v minus 8 is equal to 60. And then to get v on its own this time, I'm going to add 8 to both sides. So I get v is equal to 68 meters per second. Lastly, question 5 says a lorry travelling at a constant speed begins to accelerate at 1.5 meters per second squared for 6 seconds to 20 meters per second. What was the initial speed of the lorry? Well, again, this time we're given the acceleration, but we want the initial speed here, not the final speed. So writing down what we know from the question, we're trying to find you the initial speed. We know the acceleration is 1.5 meters per second squared. We know the final speed v is 20 meters per second and the time t is 6 seconds. So writing down our equation, we have a equals v minus u over t. Again, I'm not going to rearrange letters. I'm just going to sub the numbers straight in and then rearrange. So substituting in the numbers, we get 1.5 is equal to 20 minus u divided by 6. And then to get 20 minus u on its own on this side first, I'm going to multiply both sides by 6. So that gives me 20 minus u is equal to 9. And remember, we want u on its own, but right now I've got negative u on this side, and I don't want a negative u, I want a positive u. So I'm going to add u to both sides first to get u over onto this side. So that would give me 20 is equal to 9 plus u. But then to get u on its own, I would then need to get rid of this 9 by subtracting by 9 on both sides. So that's going to give me in the end u is equal to 20 minus 9, which is the same as 11 meters per second. That's all for this video, folks. Thanks for watching. If you made it to the end, I really appreciate it. Make sure to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.